Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. If you're a new listener, welcome. Uh, if you're a veteran, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to talk about squeeze. You're like, what's squeeze, Hans? What are you talking about, squeeze? My main squeeze. <laughs> uh, people, you know, <clears throat> people ask me, uh, how to uh, calm the dog down, right? Mm -hmm. Like around, I talk about it in, I think, uh, in the uh, podcast about uh, gunfire mm, yeah. and, and fireworks and stuff, yeah. right? I think you did, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so I learned about this uh, from this uh, book uh, written by Temple Grandin animals in translation and um, she basically de devoted all book to it and I highly recommend people reading it it's a very good book and um, in there she she discovered she you know she was around farm animals a lot and she discovered that when they put the cattle in squeeze to, to brand it you know they, they run it through this way and so the, the cattle got going in the forward and when it gets to the point they squeeze her with this mechanism mm -hmm. like a book closes mm -hmm. on yeah. and the cow, cows immediately immediately uh, calm down yeah. and uh, in my opinion it simulates that squeeze simul stimulates the sympathetic nerve which is a nerve which uh, controls heartbeat, uh -huh. uh, digestive tract, and all sorts of you know inner kind of functions. Uh -huh. And so, if the cow has his heartbeat going really fast, and it, because it's excited, yeah. that 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 it slows the heartbeat and the animal calms down, uh -huh. right? And empirically, you know the. The, the in the book uh, 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 Temple Grandin ob observed that, right? And so she she was autistic, and she went to college. Uh, I think Fort Collins in Colorado, or Cornell. I don't know. I think it well, doesn't matter. And uh, she um, she was. Uh, having a lot of anxiety attacks, mm -hmm. you know, that was part of her autism. And uh, so she built herself a squeeze for her, herself, mm -hmm. you know, out of plywood and two by fours and stuff. So she would lay in it and, yeah. and pull on the rope and that thing would close on her and squeeze her, right? And then she could study because she calmed down, mm -hmm. right? And then the uh, officials from the college found out they thought it's some kind of a perverse sexual toys and they forbade her to have it. Yeah. It was interesting stuff, right? It was a movie too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, eventually they allowed her to do that, right? Yeah. But um, <clears throat> I uh, she doesn't talk about dogs, she mainly talks about livestock. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, there's several other things she talks about livestock. But uh, the squeeze uh, you know, I uh, apply it to my dog training. I don't know anybody else who would do that. It's just mm. not my invention, but my application in dogs. Yeah. And what I do is I, um, when the dog has a hard time to uh, calm down, there are several ways you can calm them down. One of the ways you you, you got to give them guidance, right? So, you, you, you know, if the dog, does, you know, the dog is in panic mode or super excited and all that, and people just look at it. That's a mistake, right? Because that dog needs to be told what to do. So you can tell the dog down or sit, and then they do praise it. In other words, the, the dog, like a soldier, when it has guidance, it calms down. Mm -hmm. Kind of gets more focused. Yeah, right. So it's not focusing on that thing. It, it doesn't focus itself on, on whatever yeah. it gets it excited, right? right? Yeah, you want to focus on the you know, and and so so like for example, I go and with the dog and I see a 
the dog sees a cat or a horse and they go oh, crazy, right? And I can't calm them down. So I correct them. I said, no, sit. And when the dog doesn't sit, I correct them to sit. And then when they sit, I pet them and they, and, 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 and they calm down because now they have something to do, right? I, which I told them to do. Mm. And, uh, and they like that. They like to be calmed down. They don't like to be all excited, okay? Yeah. Especially if it's not focused excitement like during protection training yeah anyway that's one of the ways you can calm the dog down but uh the way you know i tell people to do it when the dog is really excited or or let's say you go somewhere and your dog just barks yeah. right it's it's it, you have it on leash <clears throat> and the dog is uh the dog is uh, see a bunch of dogs in dog park or something. Yeah. Don't go in dog parks, but yeah. you know you walk by, yeah. and the dog wah, 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 and won't calm down, right? Yeah. So what you do, you put your dog on your left side, in heel position, sit right next to you, and squeeze the dog on the dog's shoulder against your leg. Mm -hmm. It simulates that squeeze for the cattle, right? So you squeeze it, and it simulates that sympathicus nerve. You know, the sympathicus and parasympathicus. If you are interested in it, you can kind of look it up on Google, the biggest library in the world, yeah. as, as, as Gabor likes to say. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 so 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 as you squeeze it, you know, the dog will calm down. Or you are, let's say, around fireworks and the dog is completely out of his mind, yeah. you can squeeze it and the dog will calm down. Now, it takes a little time. It's not like instantaneous, you know, but usually if it's in 20 seconds or one minute, when you mm -hmm. squeeze it, the dog will calm down. That's the same principle as these so-called thunder vests they mm -hmm. sell, right? For yeah. dogs who are gun shy and excitable around. Mm -hmm fireworks and gunfire and lightning storm and did, stuff like that. Did, did those things come out of her Temple Graydon, you think, from like the Thunder Vest, do you think? From, yeah, I think from, so. They may, you know, yeah. yeah she inspired you know, it? Or, yeah, I think yeah. she inspired it. I, I'm not sure, okay. but, but I definitely was inspired uh, in it by for the squeeze mm -hmm. with my hand. Yeah. So I'm squeezing the dog against my leg, against yeah. my knee when it sits, yeah. you know, German Shepherd sized dog. I'm, I'm squeezing it towards my leg and I'm holding it. Don't rub it, you know, don't rub it. Just yeah. just, just steady, firm, yeah. not overpowering, but firm squeeze. Yeah. And the dog will diffuse yeah. and calm down. And then you can praise it. It's a good boy yeah. and pet the dog. And, and, and it can keep saying, it's okay, yeah. good boy. Okay, we got to calm the dog down. Okay, it's, it's done by the squeeze, which is uh, from uh, Temple Grandin book, uh, uh, it's okay. Animals in Translation. Make him sit. Set me. Boy. This is how it's done. You, 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 you squeeze the dog on the shoulder blade, and push him against the knee or the, the leg of your dog, fondle him. The dog will calm down. You also gotta project the uh, calmness of your mind. Okay? And, and this is uh, done around gunfire, thunder, lightning, fireworks, and all that. I have a video on it. Oh, podcast, right? Yeah. So, see, the dog is calm. No. So, you're not petting the dog or anything, you're just calming him down by squeezing him. Why don't you squeeze him one more time? It's pretty firm, right? It's a pretty firm squeeze. And it engages the uh, sympathicus nerve, which is like a positive calm nerve, which controls a uh, level of adrenaline, a heartbeat, uh, uh, a breathing rate, and all that. It all goes down, okay? All right. That's it. Now heal him out of here calmly or make friends. He's calm and all that, and how Garrett is calm. Okay. okay. It's completely diffused. Okay. People can pet.
Let him even okay. be good. Let him. Don't worry. It's don't okay. worry. Come on. See? Good boy. Good boy. Remember, in my book, uh, it's okay as a command, right? So it's not like some kind of a verbiage. It's yeah. just, it's, it's a command yeah. to me. Okay. So that way I condition the dog that uh, uh, when I say it's okay to calm down, mm -hmm. to diffuse, yeah. right? And uh, it's, it's part of like when I was doing martial arts, uh, we were meditating before each session for like 15 minutes. We would sit on our knees, it's called Seiza, and the teacher would say Vokso, which means I don't know what it means in Japan, but uh, Japanese, but <laughs> apparently Chile, but but to us it was clear, clear your head, you know, empty your mind, breathe in, breathe out, right? And uh, and uh, um, calm down and empty your mind, the Mushin Noshin style, right? Meaning you just don't focus on anything at all or one thing in front of you. You know, it's that last samurai, too many minds, right? Yeah, that's why he was getting... So yeah, yeah, good. yeah. So, so you, 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 you know, and when you keep doing it, like I've done it for years and years. I, I used to go practice sometimes every day. Now, you know, when critical situation comes to me, I can just say Vaxo, inhale, exhale, and I'm fully focused on whatever is in front of me. By focus, I don't mean tunnel vision focus. I mean focus like nothing else exists, mm -hmm. right? That I got to pay mortgage, that I got to, yeah. you know, feed dogs and horse and got to get yeah. dog food. And, mm -hmm. you know, all that goes poof, away. Yeah. And I'm just fo focusing on that combat in front of me. And, and so, in other words, what I'm talking about it is I, I conditioned, I conditioned myself, I was conditioned on the guidance of my sensei uh, to, to, to calm down yeah. on command. Yeah. And command could be just my visualized, visualized command. Nobody gets to tell me that. Yeah. And, you know, I, it, it's in my own mind. Yeah. I can say, okay. And here I go, right? Yeah. And uh, in that, you know, I'm kind of getting on tangent a little bit, but uh, in that type of state of mind, you know, you don't fear anything either, like death or anything like that, yeah. right? You just, you just, that would be part of the Mushin Noshin, which goes away, the fear of death, right? Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm saying is you mentally, condi you condition your mental state of mind, right? By that way and the same thing with the dog when you say it's okay i'm going back to that now yeah. if you keep doing it when you squeeze the dog every time you need him to calm down or you can just practice it right yeah. you say it's okay and squeeze him and eventually you just can say it's after you do it a hundred times or more eventually you just can say it's okay you don't have to squeeze him anymore yeah so for example, so when do we use this? Well, we can use it every time the dog is overpowered by excitement or and or we can use it every time before we start obedience training mm -hmm. or before we start protection training, right? So, so we always say it's okay and squeeze the dog, calm it down, completely diffuse it. Yeah. You squeeze it against your knee. Yeah. Don't rub it, right? Just squeeze. Just like the cattle is being squeezed in that squeeze, and the dog will calm down. But it's coming with the it's okay, right? So, and now when we do obedience or the protection, the dog just mushin notion focuses just on that, yeah. right? That's why it's so important uh, uh, to use that yeah. so you don't have. Uh, overexcited dog when you start working with him yeah. or with her. You also talk about uh, about us where if so, our, yeah, same our thing for mind you. is not clear. Yeah, 
it transfers well, I'm over. I'm talking to, about dogs, but it applies know, but, to the handler too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So that it's yeah. kind of like a yeah, you know, because Hans, when we did that, when we do that. You know, Hans says, if you have too much stuff on your mind, like it doesn't work as well, just not going to. Well, you know, really, every time we start training obedience, we should, yeah. you know, uh, we should Overall, do that. Yeah. We should all do that yeah. every time yeah. that way you condition yourself, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. No, it's a... you know, it avoids you when, 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 when shit hits the fan, so to speak, in real life. Yeah. If you put yourself in that state of mind, you are not as likely to get rattled. Yeah, and once you're rattled, then you're all over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've been there a few times, and I got rattled and all yeah. that, but, you know, when you practice it, 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 it kind of goes away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I've been in a situation where I was wrestling gun away from somebody. Yeah. And uh, twice actually, and uh, I, I I was automatically in that mushinoshin state, I, and I was kind of afterwards I got a little rattled. Yeah. But while I was in that action, I I felt not no 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 fear. Yeah. You know, like like okay, well, what can happen? I may die or something. It mm -hmm. it wasn't there. Yeah. Right. And actually, I was kind of surprised by it, being perfectly honest with you. Yeah. You know. Afterwards, you know, and, yeah, sure. you know, I said, well, what the heck? How come I wasn't scared? I had a gun like two inches from my skull, right? Yeah. Like a fighter pilot when the plane is crashing, going down, like you got to figure it out. Like there's no, yeah. <laughs> there's got to be in motion ocean because, you know, you, you well, can't, the, what yeah. was the name? That guy who landed on Hudson River? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, Sully, so Sullenberger. S Sully? Or, yeah, like Sully, Sully, Sullenberger yeah. was his last yeah. name. And he probably was in Mushin Oshin state of mind because yeah. he was completely, you know, it was just <laughs> because, you know, that's where he was. You know, he didn't panic or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. So it could be trained. That's what you're kind of saying. Needs, can, to, needs be to be trained. trained. It needs to be conditioned. Conditioned, I should say. Well, yeah. conditioned. Classical conditioning by yeah. Pavlov. Okay. You know, it, it's, it's, it conditions you to. To have the mind in certain state of, in certain yeah. state. Yeah, and that carries through your brain in certain state of mind. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So motion, motion, squeeze, squeeze, motion, motion. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, especially when you're. I mean, always, but um, especially when you're. Uh, when we're doing protection work too, that that's just a little more intense for sure versus. Obedience. I mean, obedience could be intense with Hans. Well, but, but you know, the obedience. <laughs> with, yeah. You know, you know, like you know, when we run around this, in a circle, and I tell you change direction, yeah. and dog goes like, rah, 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 yeah. you know, they get pissed off, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You know, well, if you if they would be if you bring them into that state of mind to be relaxed, they they, they won't. Yeah. Or not as likely. So it carries through pretty much everything. Then. Yeah, it carries through everything. Okay. You know. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. You know, it, 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 if you go to extreme in your personal life, it can, it, it, it carries through everything even in your life, no matter what you do. Yeah, well, that's good. These are good tips. Yeah. Tip. yeah, you know, whatever you do every day, you need to do like as if, your life depends on it, you know. Yes. Yeah. Do the best, do, do, do focused. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you, Hans, for your uh, knowledge today for us. Okay. Um, if you're interested in instructional videos from Hans, a personal protection video series that he has, how to build a personal protection dog from start to finish, it's a four part video series uh, you can buy them one one by one or but if you buy the bundle then hans will give you support and i would like to say keep checking on those videos for sale because we're we are adding not very fast but we're adding yeah. new ones yeah yeah you know, we're we gonna be adding new ones on civil training and civil testing yeah civil dog training civil dog testing yeah which is i think one of the most important things uh, which people need to learn the true dog trainers you know who are because most of the training these days uh, is not civil, 
Yeah. Even so, people think it's civil, it's not civil. Yeah. You know, because yeah. the undesirable associations with equipment, with location, with different decoy, with same decoy. Yeah. You know, those are the undesirable association which ruin the civil aspect of yeah. the training. Yeah. And that's what the video, this video series does is Hans explains how to start it right in the beginning. Because right. once, if you don't start it right, then right. you have baggage. Yeah, then you have a bad, if, yeah. if you have a bad default, it is hard to beat it. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to, to beat that. Um, also, he has a beat how to uh, train a dog out of drive, meaning no uh, treats or toys, which most trainers, a lot of trainers these days, that's how they train dogs. So Hans will show you in the obedience video how to train a dog without um, uh, treats or, or, uh, or toys or e-collar for that matter. Um, there's puppy how to feed puppy raw. Let me, let me go back yeah, to the, the, yeah. the uh, uh, you know, so what are we using? We're using pet and praise, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a reward. Yeah. I just want to make sure yeah. people don't think it's just, you know. Yeah, some people argued when I posted something, well, how do you, well, the dog's supposed to get rewarded, you know, and, and I said, well, that, yeah, it's going to get petted, you know, but they. Oh, yeah. that's not enough. That's not enough. Yeah. That's not enough. Yeah. You ever had a petaholic dog? Yeah. Who will not leave you alone unless you pet it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty strong. Yeah. And it's a good, it's a good drug to have. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh, it, it, it teaches the dog to, uh, uh, work for you and with you, yeah. and that's what that will be so about. Because if you that's that happens when you train in drive, if you train out of drive, the dog works for itself. Yeah, that phrase that you said for me and with you is we should do a shirt or a hat. But some people might think, or there's plenty of people that might think, well, yeah, my dog works for me. I'm like, well, does he or she? If you treat train it, most likely not. It's working for the toy or the. Yeah, cookie. if you use treats or yeah. toys, no, he's not working for you. Yeah, so a little, a little FYI, if you're listening to this, your yeah. dog is not working for you. It's working you. for itself. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the treat? Yeah. Well, what's wrong working for itself? The work, if the dog sees a, then it boils down to value of your reward. Yeah. So if your dog is seeing cat running out of the barn really fast. And, he, and you're calling it back with cookie in the head, hand, what's bigger value, your cookie or the cat, right? Yeah. That's where you will fail in, in yeah. uh, when the dog doesn't work for you. In it's just not reliable, right. uh, basically, as, as Hans likes to say it. Um, also, check commands. Uh, for check dogs. For check, check dogs, guy. By check guy. <laughs> um, well, I'm actually American. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there's a whole, whole sorts of videos, uh, Alpine canine reel, uh, like realistic reel. Also, -E re, re, -R -E -L. Um, and if you're looking for a puppy or a trained adult dog, Hans is your man. Uh, these dogs come from the Czech Republic. True Czech dogs. True Czech dogs, which we should kind of maybe do a podcast on that. Uh, but uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a dog, a puppy or, or, a, or a trained adult, uh, make sure you reach out to Hans. Uh, the phone number and email and all that stuff is below the video. And please subscribe and share. So yeah, share, 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 guys. Share, share, yeah. share it to your friends with the, yeah. my jibber jabber here. That's good, you know, good stuff. You know, if you like it, show it to your friends. You yeah, know? and I know we know for a fact because I look at the analytics that I mean, more than half of the people do not subscribe. So please, if you're watching this, you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. It just kind of helps the channel. And uh, uh, just to get the word out about dog training, that's really extremely difficult to find uh, content like this on, on YouTube, which is sad. You know, it's, it's just Yeah, I was kind of sad. surprised yeah. by it because, you know, I wasn't that much 10 years ago. I was until about 10 or 7, 8 years ago, I wasn't that much involved on the Internet. And then when I finally yeah. got involved there, I said, oh, my God, what are these people teaching? Yeah. You know, I mean, you're on Facebook all, a lot, but uh, YouTube is a good big source for dog training. Right. I mean, people just look at dog training YouTube. So that's why, you know, when Hans and I. Started There's talking. few people kind of yeah. on the same page as I am, but yeah. but you know, even I would like to talk to some of them because I, I see certain mistakes still there. You know, yeah. it's, it's I'm trying to refine it so there are no mistakes. Yeah, or in the system. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, and every little thing will backfire on you in tremendous ways. You know, so it's really important to uh, when you're training the dog with my system to really stick to it. 
Yeah, we did. Uh, we'll let you guys go here in a second. But we, we did obedience. We were doing obedience, and Hans. I don't know if it was me or who else, but basically what he said is that the, the, the dog was a little bit in front of one of us or something. And and the reason you can't do that because if you if you make one small, that little thing becomes a big thing. <clears throat> right. It'll That's backfire. Why. Well, yeah. it's like I compare it to Carpenter who builds a house and he has a corner yeah, yeah. a little bit out like of 90 a, degrees. Like a half a degree. Yeah. By the time you're on the roof, you 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 you, you, yeah. you have a, you know, like... A, yeah, crazy. Off. <laughs> yeah, you have a major mistake there. I hope that makes sense, everyone. When about that, yeah, but, it keeps uh, adding up. The mistakes keep multiplying, adding, and yeah. compounding. Yeah, yeah. you know. So. All right, everyone. Thank you for uh, watching, listening, and we will see you guys next time. Ahoy.